Well, you're right then, guys. Welcome to the February edition of the Small Gardening Collaboration. Um, in this episode, we're looking at maybe a bit of planning for the small area, what we're going to do with it. And as you know, I'm using the veggie pod behind me there. So I'm uh, giving it a good tidy up, clean up and refreshing the compost. Do go and check out what the other channels are doing. They're all in the uh, description below, all the links to their channels. Um, I'm going to learn some, I know I certainly am. So uh, follow along guys. So what I'm going to do is halfway there, I'm going to take a good layer of compost off each side, off the whole off, off the whole veggie pod. And this side, I'm going to put this rocket grow. You can't really see it. And that side, I'm going to put the yellow miracle grow that's down there. I'll explain it further when I come to do it. But for now, I'm just going to strip it all down and uh, get rid of all the plants and think about getting the compost out, maybe tomorrow. Yeah, a lot of these got um, frozen by that cold spell we had. I'll tell you what, they got some roots left on, I wonder if they're... No. I reckon that would be enough for that side. Right. Well, okay then, well, that's me finished taking the top of the um, old compost out of the veggie pod. I just got to refill it now. And I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a different compost in each half I don't know if you can, you probably can't tell with the, the dark of the compost, but I've left a little ridge in the middle just to delineate the composts. But first of all, I want to put some chicken manure down and scratch it in. So what I'm going to do, it's going to... Oh, that stinks. Don't ever get this stuff wet, I tell you. Cool. So we want too much because I want to compare the compost really but this you know this gives it to the edge it's quite intensive planting in here so uh, give it a fair bit I suppose you can always put more in later but you can't take it out tickle it in a bit the compost's a bit uh, it's a bit hard because it's soaking wet after the winter and it's settled a bit, you know. So, uh, it's gonna... don't want to go too deep because there's a lot of perlite underneath. For those of you who don't know how this works, I'll explain in a second. Just uh, have to move the camera around a bit. Well, for those of you who don't, don't know about the, uh, the veggie pod, this is how it works. This, this little bit here is a tank of water and just above that is a Gravy load of perlite, about 100 litres for the whole whole um, veggie pod, and it acts like a wick and it soaks up into the compost, it keeps it moist all the time, see? And then what we've got as well, we've got the uh, insect proof net in over the top, the cover, which I don't know if it's any good or not, it just acts as a barrier for the butterflies, really. Little insects can get in down here sort of thing but if you look at the top there in the top of the cover see that line along the top of the cover on the frame there goes down there's a hose connector on the end and that along the top is a spray bar so when the cover is down like this oh, you can spray your crops spray your veg okay so let's get some of this compost in right then Now this side, over here I'm using 
Rocket Grow peat free fruit and veg compost and it says it is a 312 mix NPK 3 nitrogen 1 phosphorus and 2 potassium so I'm trying not to cut myself in half first time I've used this by the way Looks all right. It's got loads of um, what you call it, um, strawy type stuff in it. Miracle Go Prickler, Miracle Grow Peat Free Premium All Purpose Compost. Ooh. Smart release system, controlled release plant, plant food, three months, fourteen vital minerals, NPK plus trace elements. Yeah. I'll tell you what, it looks very, very similar. I'd let the frost break it down a bit because it's going to get cold. It's been minus two last night. So. How warm out the front here now, don't have to put, uh, believe it or not, to put some suntan lotion on my head. Sun cream. Mind you, you have a head like this, you want to look after it. <laughs> right, one more. Oh, you can see the uh, general release fertilizer. Look, little balls. Because some people mistake these for slug eggs. They do look very, very similar. Okay, well that's it then. All I've got to do now is um, plan the garden, if you like. Right, I've probably mentioned that for the small garden collaboration, I'm modifying my veggie pod a little bit. I want to do square foot gardening but not strictly square foot gardening so I'm not going to use the correct compost mix and I'm not going to do exactly the right planting but what I have done I knocked up a little grid well cut the pieces off an old uh, shelf unit might be little squares on it the planting distances but what I want to do is make some holes in the surround of this on the frame and put some string across so I found the best way to do that is to melt it rather than drill it. If you drill, you get bits of plastic. We don't want bits of plastic, do we? Now, it may be too windy for this to work. <clears throat> right, the, um, the string's only going to be there for a while. I'm not going to leave it there all the time. Yeah, it's getting warm. And I've already marked off the square feet, the feet, or 300 millimetres. So, there's one. Two. There we are. There we are, then. I reckon that looks all right. It's not square foot exactly, but it will do. And if I can find my grid, because I just dropped it. There it is. Oh. So I'm going to place that on there. And just mark up one, what have I got? One, one, four, nine, and 16. And anything less than that, I can just guess. One, four, yeah. There we are then. Oh, that's that one, it's getting indoors, I'm getting bloody cold out here. <laughs>